scientists from Army Material Command are looking at things differently when it comes to preparing troops for combat. The ideal of man and machine interfacing has been seen in science fiction movies, but now military troops are able to train in digital battlefield environments. The ability to build recurse in a virtual environment is pretty powerful. And up, up till now, technology really hasn't been available per se to collectively engage a squad or a fire team to walk through after action reviews and, and, and do, do mission rehearsals and, and throw out scenarios that they would encounter, that they did encounter throughout, you know, throughout the, the, the two wars. It would track the position of the weapon and when I fire the weapon, and it would translate all this data into the virtual simulation environment, and then the corresponding avatars would react. The dismounted soldier system uses sensory equipment and artificial intelligence to provide realistic training scenarios. A full-bodied avatar is provided for up to nine troops going through the training that matches movement and weapons firing seamlessly. The more realism you have in, in the virtual environment, you know, I think the more training value you get out of it. You know, does something look real or not? And so we, we try to have, uh, you know, our artificial intelligence, you know, we have the, the, the op four, the, uh, the characters in the environment. Uh, behave like they, you know, somewhat they do in, in the natural world so that, you know, it's not too fake looking. The system doesn't have the area limitations or cost and resource restraints that a typical training environment has. Not every unit can afford to go out and spend, you know, get thousands of rounds of ammo to do live fire exercises all the time and do movement to contacts and things like that. There's a lot of ranges in the United States that you cannot do real world movement to contact on just because of limited space, limited range fan, safety issues. Imagine combat training without the cost of bullets, spending less for troops and equipment traveling across the country, and removing the cost of maintaining temporary facilities designed to look like areas of conflict. Consequently, if we get involved in another operation, some other part of the world where the training is vastly different, it's easy to go in for them to go in and change it and say, okay, now we're training in a triple canopy rainforest. The world is changing and AMC is working hard to maintain an elite fighting force in the most efficient and effective manner. From Army Material Command, I'm Joseph Givens.